Hello everyone, we are back with Glenn Velvet Reviews here, and I just got, so that's the Pittsburgh 50 inch clamp and cut guide. Now, I read a lot of mixed reviews online. Um, this is only, I got this for $14.99 on Black Friday. And then I looked at Home Depot and they had similar ones that were four times the amount of money. I would buy the one that is four times the amount of money if I'm a professional. If you're going to be cutting what I do, which is cutting a countertop or a door once every, I don't even know, three months maybe, uh, maybe I don't know, maybe using it, I'd say a handful of times a year, okay? This is probably going to work out. This is the uh, other counter that I got that I have to cut and install. I already made the line right there. So I'm going to use the clamp. I got a brand new blade. All right, guys. So I, uh, I, I'm uh, clamped it on right now, as you see. Um, there's three different sections to uh, clamp on. One is to clamp off. And I don't know what the other two are because they don't tell you. You can go all the way down with that lever or you can keep it uh, this way and it'll still lock. But I'm not sure if one's tighter than the other. They don't tell you. Now, when you do clamp it, I notice that since the clamps move over a little bit, it messes up your line. So make sure you're going to make your line properly. Mine was, you know, an inch and something away from the blade. That's the cut I'm making with my blade. Here is where, what? The, uh, so yeah, th that's kind of what it looks like with the blade. And that's kind of how it clamps on. So what you do is this side, that tab that you see right here, that tab, all you do is squeeze it down, pull it to the size of your uh, product or you know whatever you're cutting, and you're gonna pull it to this side and make it tight. Now make sure you make up you know your line properly and keep checking it like three times, and then you're just gonna clamp it on this side. This shoe doesn't move so it's just going to clamp here and keep it hard now i'm moving it see like this and it's not moving um it's not the strongest clamp it'll do the job for a do-it-yourselfer but you would not get this if you're a professional cutting um you know material on the norm of this size so make sure when you're doing your cut to put the force down onto the uh counter or whatever you're cutting this way you don't veer off to the right like i said also Make sure that you're going to use a new blade as well. This will also be a review of the blade that I bought. I'll show you. Oh, here it is. So, <clears throat> I got a seven and quarter, 24 inch teeth framing blade made by, by Diablo. This was a value two pack. I got this for Black Friday for like, I think it was $14 or something like that. So I got two of those just in case. So I'm using that. So it will be a review of me cutting the Ikea countertop with this blade as well. So you guys can see how nice or how crappy it cuts. I don't know. So I'm going to have my mom hold the camera and she's going to, you know, see how the cut goes, how everything works. And we'll go from there. All right. So I'm just going to go through this like butter and hope for the best. All right. Ready, guys? Okay, guys, that cut really easily because it's a brand new blade. And I cut it a little bit more than I was supposed to, an eighth of an inch, but whatever. We could still fix that. And that's kind of what it looks like. That's a review of me using the, uh, the clamp. It did a decent cut. It did bend when I was pushing against this, but I knew to try to keep it down because I didn't want it to mess up the cut that bad. And then when you need to take it off, you just pop this up like this and it comes right off top of your dust off or whatever you're going to do make sure nothing goes in this track because then you're going to have a problem with this moving if this rod or anything gets damaged or dirty this won't move and you're going to have a hard time using it remember it's only $14.99 at harbor freight so you can't expect that much from it um and that's it so that's it for the review of the harbor freight that i got and a review of the blade that i got and also a review of the countertop that i got from ikea if you have any questions or comments please post them down below i would love to know also, subscribe to my channel. Join me on my review adventures as I put up stuff to help out the community just like I get help. All right? Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. I'm out.